Jesse and Jack are racing to answer a call. A man is reported to have jumped from cliffs at North Bondi. We got him, hey, we got him. They've prepared themselves for a body retrieval, but the man is standing on the rocks and appears to be unharmed. There was a report that someone had jumped off the cliff around the back of Ben Buckler. I need a definite position because I'm looking at Bondi cliffs now. Everyone's just sunbaking. There wasn't a lot of information. It wasn't too detailed, so I was a little bit sceptical. Right, mate, I'll just put the and get an hour Regardless what my gut instinct is, I've got to take it serious because worst case scenario, you know, someone's gone off the cliff and, and you know, they're dead at the bottom of the cliff. Jesse has previously dealt with several cliff-based emergencies. That's not something that you forget overnight. All his face is bleeding really bad too. Like, I can still remember what the first person was wearing on the first retrieval I went to. What about his other hand? Pass the other hand. No, his other hand. The other hand. It, it sticks with you. I want to put someone with a little bit of inexperience with him just so they can learn from the situation. Who we got down in front, number one there? Jack. Mouse decides to pair Jesse with new recruit Jack. When I saw Jesse running down with an extra wetsuit top, I was like, oh no. Every second counts. Clint is tasked with launching the jet ski. Yeah, South Buggy, just come up quick, guys. We might have a job on it. This person's life is now in my hands. If I get there quick, they've got every chance of surviving. Come this way, please, It's very important to, to launch that jet ski properly. Clint, that day couldn't have launched us any better. Yeah, mate, they're talking about the corner of Bay Street and Hastings Parade. First thing that's going through my mind, you know, it's, it's part of the job and I've got to do it, but I am still new down here. Did you want me to go up there with any equipment? I, I was stoked that they kind of had the confidence in me to go out there and, and get the job done. Nah, not at this stage. We'll just stand by, see what Jess comes up with. Copy, mate. Where we went was eerie. I knew Jack was capable, but this is like the top of the food chain in rescues for us. see everyone on the cliff and I was like this isn't good. Hey, uh, mouth, we've the police. We can't see the body. Yeah mate uh, I've got a number of the informants so just stand by I'll give them a call. And then all of a sudden how did this guy just survive this jump? I don't know if he swam, jumped but I've never seen anyone around that far. I'm gonna send my lifeguard mate in to get ya. I just climbed up on the rocks and I said, are you okay, are you okay, what's happened? Jesse, what state's here, mate? He goes, oh, nothing, I'm just, I'm just come here for a swim. Mate. This bloke had just walked around the rocks. It was a, obviously a huge relief. Yeah, let's get him on the ski and back here. But then, a massive subtly coming up the coast. The helicopter and that one again. Yes. Yes. And wind out on the water just makes things a hundred times more difficult. You know, we had this subtly coming in, so we, needed, we know we needed to move quickly. There was waves crashing up against the rocks where he was. It's not just the man who needs rescuing. We had to get his back back on the ski because he's worried about his phone getting damaged. I knew the subtly was coming, but this guy thought he was totally fine and he was just going to walk back. So he's refusing to get on the jet ski. It was just... Jesse moves the jet ski even closer. I had the jet ski at one stage literally centimetres away from the rocks. A 
hundred things could happen. Finally, the man agrees to take the plunge. The question still remains. What was the man doing so far around the cliffs? Philip Pappas, originally from Greece, is bewildered by the fuss. We think someone think you jump off the cliff. No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Really? First, look, all these helicopters here now yeah. are here for you. Really? Uh, we think that someone jump off the cliff. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Just walk on my jump in? Right here. We had the Westpac helicopter, we had the Toll helicopter, police flying down Queen Elizabeth Drive. Everybody here for this one person that didn't know what he had done. If they were looking for someone, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, yeah. There's great relief as Philip walks away unharmed. But the next day, the rescue chopper is back in the same spot. At about 10.30, the police helicopter just started hovering there. This helicopter keeps coming here, huh? Here. Oh, they're taking someone home. The first thing that come straight to my mind was me and Jack. I missed it. That's the, that's the body there. Is that a No, oh, it's on the side. The on the side of the chopper. It's good. Oh, they haven't picked it up, have they? That is so heavy. I didn't look on the rocks because the guy was there, you know. I could have saved that person's life. But when police call the tower, the story takes another turn. The police station had said that there had been a suicide. That, do you reckon that's linked to anything yesterday? But the actual person that they were winching had jumped that day, not the day before. Hey. New one, yeah. They, I don't know if they well, must have watched him jump this morning, but she was like, nah, he definitely jumped this morning, this guy. It is eerie that someone jumped in the exact same spot as the report was the day before. She goes, she goes, this 100% was today. But obviously at the same time, it's a relief that we didn't miss it. Unfortunately, people do this and feel sorry for them and their families because it's an illness. To two women struggling in the south corner. That's an absolute survivor stroke at its finest. A surfer goes to one woman's aid, so Jules expects Sam to help her friend. What are you doing? The other girl is literally drowning. Even though she was being held up by a surfer, she was unresponsive. All right, we're going to get her legs. On the floor, we're going to fly down. She's taking on a lot of water, and yeah, I wasn't getting much response at all. Hey, 100 metres up the beach, Chapo has collected a second rescue board. Sam's grab one girl butt. Quickly go. Yeah, I'm on my way. I was 100% confident that I made the right choice. I'll get there. Especially when you've got someone as capable as Chapo backing you up. Copy. Mate. The woman must hang on for just a few seconds more. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Friends from Western Sydney, Claudia and Alicia are now with lifeguards. But their condition is poor. OK, we're going to have to break this boat. Lots of waves coming. She was not really moving at all. Three, two, I just wanted to kind of keep her close and just keep telling her it's going to be OK. Three, two, she was in and out of consciousness and she was pretty limp. Hey, Sam. Is she all right? Alicia is too weak to walk to the buggy for assessment. She had taken in a lot of water, so sort of the next five to ten minutes were just pretty critical. Oh, good. Okay, sweetie. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some oxygen. Put the oxygen mask on her and just try and keep her calm. Yeah, good girl. That's 
just, just take your time. You this woman's day could have been very different. It seemed like you've come around all right. I don't think an ambulance No, I don't think yeah, so either. Think it was worry because I knew that I wasn't, I couldn't keep it up for much longer. Um, I, again, I'm not, I was a very strong swimmer. I was definitely worried for her. I was like, she was like, I was like, oh my god, help her! I was just like, oh, like god. help. <laughs> my head hurts a lot, but happy to be safe on solid ground. In the tower, the situation becomes clearer to Jules. That was um. Yeah, really well done. The fact that Sam went for the girl that was being floated by the surfer in the tower, that confused me, but Sam was right there and then, and he did the right thing. Oh, God. He just went from announcement to get them out of the water, and before we knew it, it was a potential resus. So it was, uh, it was pretty scary, it's pretty full on. It just shows how quickly it can all change.